Okay, so um, we're going to quickly go through how we, we do candling. We only candle on day 18, right before we put it in the hatcher. So I'm just going to show you what we do. Uh, we call it good and bad. Good eggs go into the hatcher and bad eggs go into the bin. In our case, we feed it to our pigs. So first off, I'm going to show you what an infertile egg looks like. There's just no development going on here whatsoever. In actual fact, this one looks like it was put. Uh, the next one, as you can see, no development. And then this is what we call a good egg. You can see it's dark. It simply means that there's a chicken inside. Um, if you look around, um, this one has got some good vein development over here. As you can see, the camera will focus. can see there's some vein development going on there as well over here you can see egg, egg is dark this here is the air sac again you can see the vein development so these are good eggs these eggs will make it into the hatcher now these eggs here were fertile but have died along the way for whatever reason um, see they've uh, died along the way you can see it started to develop in our case it's it's load shedding unfortunately it's killed most of our most of our eggs as you can see okay. this one might still be all right we'll put it inside the hatcher give it a chance as you can see this here is what we call a bloodline blood ring bloodline same story throughout another example of a bloodline this here died in the very early days again he has a good egg so this year will also make it into the hatcher you don't want to put your infertile eggs into your hatcher it takes up valuable real estate this year, these infertile or early death bloodlines have a standard chance of popping inside your hatcher. Now, if the egg is rotten, that rotten egg yolk goes all over your chicks and it makes a big mess. But that's basically it, good and bad. Thank you.